Alex, how you doing? Hi. Welcome to episode eight of That Haunted Podcast. Podcast. Woo! It's been this, a hot second. Yeah, it has. It has. Um, we took a little bit of a break, you know, things, life got in the way. We did have a passing in our family and everything in April, so we kind of slowed down and we're starting to pick back up with this episode. Yeah. This is episode eight, and what are we even calling it? I don't even we know. Don't know but uh, real quick, uh, we have merch. We've had merch. We don't really promote it much at all, but oh, there yeah. is a link in our YouTube bio. You can click that if you want to check out and get some of that Saw Paranormal merch, and all the ladies will be all over <clears> you. <throat> oh, yeah. You can also definitely make a special request if you really wanted to. We've had people ask if I can put like one of my nun paintings on a mug. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I just have to sign my painting. Yeah. So we have merch. Link in the bio. Check it out. Don't feel obligated to buy it, but if you do, we really appreciate it. And we do accept donations. We never ask for them. That link is also in our YouTube. But if you guys want to support us, how you can do that, just simply by watching our videos, commenting, and letting us know what parts you really enjoyed or if yeah. maybe we even missed something. Mm-hmm. So thank you for all the love and support over the past couple years. We're we appreciate we're it. We just finished season three. We're going to talk about that. And we're also going to talk yeah. about a little bit of the paranormal drama that's going on right now. Some you hefty, hefty drama. It. You had to have heard about it. Um, Absolutely. But do you want to say what it is or do we want to just... Let's start with the season three stuff. We'll okay. keep them hooked because you guys are going to watch this whole thing. So <clears throat> we just finished filming or releasing season three two months back, I believe. We had a... I think it was an awesome season. We, we got did. to investigate places that no one else is probably ever going to investigate, like my grandma's house, because you guys are not allowed in there. Season three was called ha- uh, Haunted House Calls for Saw Paranormal on our YouTube. <clears throat> and for that, we went to residential, which we do take residential cases, but mm-hmm. we don't often tell people not many times do people really get to see what goes on with that and very rarely do we get residential cases that get filmed um and actually get an investigation so yeah so being able to document them and share them with the people who watch us yeah really cool experience again we went to places that no one else is ever going to be able to go to i think we Uh had a couple minor bumps in the road there was some investigations where it might have been like corrupted or something like that and yep. we weren't able to post them but they were very good investigations one of them being my friend's house her name is cassie um <clears throat> which she just recently got married congratulations cassie um woo! Woo! um so her house is pretty haunted it tends to be when you are you know within a hundred feet of water and the Erie Canal. Mm-hmm. And, know, tra- and there's train tracks history. running through the front of the <clears throat> house, not like right on the lawn. That'd be unsafe. But like... O- almost, though. <clears throat> 15 it's, second walk, yeah, basically. Yeah, truly. And um, that investigation was truly so active. Um, I remember the one prominent thing I can remember from that investigation I want to share with you guys because obviously you you lost footage at this point. When we went through after the investigation and I was doing the cleansing, I was coming back up from the basement and you or Keontae were near the back door. Something slammed the back door mm-hmm. um, as if something got pissed that I was cleansing. Um, and Matt, her daughter had seen, her daughter has reported seeing like a skeleton or like an angry ghost, a red yeah. ghost. She can identify them by certain things. Um, nobody taught her to use that word, mind you. Creepy kid. Kids are creepy. It can, I, what would you do if you had a kid sitting there saying, I see dead people. Orphanage. <laughs> oh my God. No. That, yeah, you're absolutely. taking that from Papa Me. No. Orphanage. No. Yeah, yeah. He's not wrong. I do. Kid goes scary shit at me. Creepy kids in general. I don't like. Yeah, Cups. that. No. I will drop kick that kid. I would put him through a freaking window. Joking, of course. I'd be like, did you get spoiled milk? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. CO2 thing not working properly. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, um, great, at- great, great episode that we lost, unfortunately. We had, uh, yeah. we got the shadow, uh, not the shadow figures. Who, the um, SLS camera picked up these two figures in the basement that I one of them was waving to me, if I remember correctly. Which, which, which cool. 
which is making this so wild and fascinating too, is that I, as a psychic medium, I had picked up on a family being there um, from, I, I don't even know, like 1900s. They, they just, they looked like, they had bonnet, they had like older clothes on. It was like a farmer and his family. But what what's also funny is that Cassie's sister, who is also very gifted, um, she also felt like she has seen these people around mm-hmm. the home. And one of them being a little boy. So, and you said that one of the two figures was actually taller. Yeah, short. one was taller, one was small, like, I don't know, I'm doing hand signals like you can see me. Small, like a child. Yeah. And again, yeah. I don't like ch- child ghosts. I don't, there's two kind of ghosts I don't like. I'm off real here a little bit. Children ghosts and disabled ghosts, like, their legs don't work. Like, when we went to Rolling Hills, they rank, they talked about crawlers because they were in a wheelchair and they couldn't move, so they would crawl. So I think the ghost realm should really put in, like, wheelchairs and wheelchair accessible uh, The thing is areas. that they do, though. They do, but it depends on, like, if they're stuck, if they never moved forward or processed how they passed, right. too. yeah. Oh, very, yeah. And you know what? I won't, I can agree with you on that. I'm not a big fan of children's spirits. Here's the thing. Do I, do I get along with kids? Absolutely. I tell people all the time I get along with kids. Do I want them myself? No. Um, and I, not like I'm afraid of kids, but I am definite, it is definitely more suspicious with a child spirit because, um, what are they called? Um, black eyed children. Black eyed children. Which the demonic can definitely take form of a child. Mm-hmm. Mind you, you'll know there'll be something very off. Very, very off about um, their appearance. It's not going, it, you know, there's going to be something just unnatural because a yeah. demonic entity cannot portray um, an image of somebody perfectly. Mm-hmm. Um, so right. that's a little demonology tip for you guys. But yeah, yeah that. That, I can agree with you. Children's spirits are kind of terrifying. So, yeah, uh, to get that on the SLS, it was just a cool investigation overall. I don't... Was there any other ones that didn't make it into the season that we hoped to? No. Yeah, I don't know. Overall, we had a lot of really cool investigations. Um, You had your parents' house, which gave us incredible spirit box evidence. Very nice spirit box evidence. That's probably the most action we've had with that spirit box was at your parents' house. Truly, yeah, that those were creepy because it was either like they they said I'm a soldier or I'm insulted. Yep. It was it it was really hard. At one point, we really thought it said screw you, ha ha ha, but it said something else. But the ha 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 was definitely the there. Ha, and that was, the help me in the attic from that woman voice or girl voice. Yes, and that is very common too in haunted houses with a. Uh, a negative entity or entities, they, they will play like the good cop, bad cop thing where there'll be a, a female and then a male voice. Mm-hmm. I don't like that either because, mm-hmm. yeah, it was very, it was almost sounding enticing. It was like, help us. And then I was like, yeah, help them. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Lots of great spirit box evidence. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And my mom did actually tell us recently that, hey, you guys are welcome to investigate. I'll come here with Cooper and you guys can go. Um, yeah, so maybe there'll be a part two to that maybe, investigation. Which, since my father is passing, um, that's who actually passed for us, you guys. Um, he struggled with his addiction heavily, but many of you know that he, w- maybe I had talked about it, so many of you that have been following along would know that he struggled with his addiction, but also with um, demonic torment. He was being... He was under demonic seas. They, he, they were out to possess him, absolutely, a hundred percent. Um, and one of his last wishes was to have the house properly exercised or cleansed. So we are planning to do that. However, I do want to investigate. Um, I am rather curious. I don't think that haunting is going anywhere. You guys need to go back and watch that episode. There's a lot it's a of great episode. There's a lot of history in our area. So like, my parents' house being in this area and having so much history on that street, you guys don't. You need to go watch it. Mm-hmm. And then of course my grandma's house. That was so cool. With the ghost of the famous actress Lucille Ball, 100 percent for sure, in my grandma's house. That's a joke. 
But no, uh, we had a spirit coming through, claiming to be her. But there is something that, I think it was something negative, because something has been messing with your brother, and something wanted to scare me in that attic, Mm -hmm. and I didn't like that. And then my, my deceased uncle came through there multiple times. You picked up when we did the, uh, the green light method. I, like, barely remember. Yeah, and the REM pod was giving us more, what's the word, more evidence to support that it was him. Yeah. A lot of my family. Backing it up. Came through with the evidence that came that we got. That house has been very important to your family, I think. Yeah. It always will be, so I think that's why family comes through a lot. But I think that also... What's interesting about that, I would, me and Shane might go deeper into that down the road, but um, his great grandma had a Ouija board. And I have a feeling that something wasn't closed out properly, and his brother has an odd attachment to this Ouija board. And, but he wakes up and has scratches on his legs sometimes, and like, mm-hmm. there's no cat there. And he doesn't regularly have the dog around him. This man keeps to himself. So yep. this is very, this is something, and I did have a psychic medium actually hit on something being there, being very, very dark, it, but being a really big thing for Shane to overcome because, you know, we did do the shaman journey together, the Munaki rites. Yes. Um, I do believe you have the right of exorcism because even though you don't necessarily believe in God and you consider yourself atheist, I've seen you pray to God in situations and hauntings and you've read through the Bible and then when it comes to exorcism or cleansings, the way that you become very authoritative in commanding them out, I think you have the right of exorcism and I think that this... I believe that this is all part to come together, so uh-huh. maybe, maybe you guys, yeah. that investigation may be continued later on. Yeah, Who and knows? all these videos that we're talking about, you can watch the whole playlist on our YouTube. Check them out if you want. Really appreciate it. Yeah, please click the link mm-hmm. in our bio. Um, if you're watching this on our YouTube, you're already here, so make sure you subscribe, comment, let us know where, you know, what part you're at, what you're listening to, what you're watching. Yeah. We'd love to hear your feedback. Um, what what else do we want to cut? Anything else from season three? I'm trying to think. Um, there's one residential case I think that didn't make it into season three that will be coming up. You can cut out, All right, Christina. Yeah. That's can, there's some. We're not gonna stop posting residential cases by any means. We just might do more um, house call series possibly, but we have a really fun. We have some fun fil- filming plans. We really do. Yep. And season four is going to be a absolute banger. We're almost wrapped up for season four yep. already, which yep. is insane. And then we're season five, I'm excited for. Season five is going to be fun, but we're not going to tell you what that is, so you got to get blue-balled. Yeah. But it's it's it's, so, it's such a good idea. And it's going to be some freaking gold, yeah. It'll be fun. Very excited for it. But I think we should talk about... What you guys have all been waiting for. That's why you clicked. Drama. The paranormal drama. The paranormal drama. Paranormal drama. Yeah, we love drama here at That Haunted Podcast LLC. No, we really don't actually. We don't like to be involved in it, put it that way. Um, and here we are involving ourselves. <laughs> no, here's the thing. We're not inv- uh, Here's the thing. I don't... I'm not putting it as involving ourselves. I'm putting... I'm, I'm talking about it because... Straight up. Okay. What is the paranormal drama? It has to do with, you guys definitely have heard about the movies, The Conjuring House. It has to do with the actual house. The Conjuring House. I thought Um, it was about the nun. Nah. No? Okay, I'm okay. No, yeah, I thought The Conjuring House. There's some hefty, hefty tea going on about it. Definitely check it out. We're not going to name drop. We're not here to call anybody out. Um, We really aren't. But, um, you know what, the reason why we're touching base on it is because that is the investigation that blew us up, really. Yeah. That is the place that, the first place that made me feel like I want to go home and I'm scared. And not many places, everyone could see it on my face that I was scared, and that does not happen. The amount of fear I had, and not that that's cool or anything, I was under attack, but 
the evidence and the research that was able to come from having a shook up experience and I mean they started doing their laundry as we were talking to them <laughs> like they they just they're just who they are you know that that's the one time we got to meet them and they were super down to earth I would drink a million beers with Corey you know I would I would smoke with them I would yeah. I would I would have a I would investigate with them they were telling us that they'd been investigating for like 10 years mm-hmm. and like I, you know and they were like they could tell we weren't like new to investigating either and they were very respectful and they they were so it was so chill you could tell that the house was in good hands and yeah while i had some bad experiences at the house there were some really good experiences with with spirits that still remember who roger is very clearly Mm -hmm. and this is the investigation that got us on the tv too this is yeah it holds us first investigation not well first big investigation on our channel First investigation out of state. Mm-hmm. So this is just, that place is very near and dear to our heart. It, it will always hold a big place in my heart. Now, when I found out they were selling the house, I was, I was upset. And when I saw who the own, new owner was, I looked at Shane and I immediately said, this is going to be bad. He thought I was being judgy at first too, didn't you? Go ahead. Because, okay, mm-hmm. listen to the psychic, you guys, okay? I, I rarely ever do I toot my horn, okay? Hear me out. I straight up said, this is going to go downhill. Um, she's saying she's going to involve these people in it, and that's not how it's going to be. Something is going to be very, very off. I knew that it was going to go downhill. I knew I didn't want to go there ever again until that she is not in ownership. Um, I have nothing, I don't know her, I have nothing negative to say about this woman, but, um, the way, there's a level of professionalism to be held when you are that famously known for having the most fam- famous haunted house in, in the United States. In the world, I think. Yeah, probably, yeah. In the world. Um, and the level of professionalism and, and the way she speaks to people, it's kind of wild i've never had a bad experience with her i have nothing negative to say about this owner but um i just knew from a psychic standpoint i had it marked in my head in my gut that i was like there's something wrong this is not gonna go well Mm -hmm. and now if you guys are up to date with all this drama nobody wants to be involved with this house yeah so basically at this moment we're going off with the information that we remember and not accusing anybody of anything we're just going off of what the information that we know there's been rumor that they have allowed fake evidence or they have mm-hmm. allowed there's just not enough respect for the yeah. spirits of the land and the home anymore apparently um i i i do think that some of the historical information is being um altered altered which sucks because then it's just you know you're losing history that way basically and History is what keeps these places alive, in a way. Yes. The history of a place. Um, I believe it's being overrun, and I believe that there's a lot of people being involved with the house, and it's stirring a lot. I don't really know what is going on. We're going to know the full thing when we watch Jason Hawes' live. So, so, so we're going to get the rundown of what happened, really. Mm-hmm. So, a bunch of people that used to be part of the Conjuring House, associated with it, they made a statement that they left... Resigned. Resigned. There was like six or seven people, I believe. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to name names. I'm not trying to do that, so I'm not going to do it. You guys but, can look it up. It's yeah. there. But a bunch of people resigned because they didn't like the way management was gone. And they didn't even route. say anything negative. They just made it clear because there was too many rumors that they had gotten fired and yeah. that wasn't the case. That was the thing, yeah. They are People are claiming that they got fired. They're saying that they resigned with the resignation letter. Anyway, there's going to be a whole thing coming out on Friday. So after this podcast is out on Friday on what's going on, the whole story. So we're, we're giving you a late update when this video comes out, I guess, technically. Basically. But, but that, that's the whole thing. Let's give the late update because Psychic Alex, let's come through with this because Shane and I had a little debate. He thinks... I think this isn't going to affect the house in any way. I think, yeah, people are going to drop booking or whatnot, then it's just going to leave more people to go in. 
and swoop those spots up. I personally think that in the long run, nothing's really going to happen. Yeah, probably not a lot of big people are going to go there anymore. It's going to be those smaller people or people who, people who just want to go for shits and giggles. Those are people that can't afford the prices that she raised, though. So that in is my, another issue with the conjuring house is the price and increase, which is insane. When I've talked to other homeowners that have, like Dan Clays, he's talked about the reason why these places end up doing events is because when you hike up the prices and then people can't afford to go there you have to make up for it with events because then you're not making the money to even keep up on restoration or Mm -hmm. any repairs on the home yeah there's also a thing too it's kind of derailing but how like if you have a certain amount of followers they up the price more which i think is just that deters me immediately. Ridiculous. If you're going to charge me for recording and getting your place more publicity, because I don't toot my own horn, but again, I know I have a following. Miss 18 point, what is it? Three. 18.3 It's not K. a lot. I mean, I've got like 69 or 68 followers. But even like in the psychic community, I have a fo- I, for some odd reason, with the readings I've been doing for years, I have a following. I... I only want to draw good attention to people and then things i only want the best for i always say that i come off like a pushy biatch but it's because i want the best for everybody always and like so if you're gonna charge us because we want to record or because of our following when that could help you i will decline going there entirely it's unfortunate but i mean there's no reason to charge more because they have a, a number or because the name of the house yeah no yeah no Jen and Corey I mean it was so affordable under them I um, I was mm-hmm. shocked we could even afford to get a hotel after yeah it was truly one of the most mind blowing experiences I've uh, still to this day I will never forget we, we're still friends with the people we went with and we all I think hold that experience so close to us that was like unlike anything we've ever We've never gone out of state since, though. But yeah. like that was our that was our baby. That was our first out of state investigation. And we went at a at a great time too. We went around the same time Ghost Adventures did an episode we on it. We booked it was... in twenty twenty, and then it was for twenty twenty one, and we were scared it was going to get canceled because of COVID. Mm-hmm. But it they didn't. were chill. It was awesome. They had us wear our masks when we came in, and then they actually told us, you know, if all of us are, what, no. Anyway, uh. Well, they let us take it off around each other once they left and yeah. everything. Because at first they were telling us we had to have them on. But uh-huh. once they left and everything, they didn't care. Right. Because it was just us and they had to clean after. So. Uh-huh. Oh, oh my gosh. And they provided all the stuff in the kitchen and bathroom for our stay. Like, food and shit. And I think we didn't even touch it because we didn't expect it. Yeah. They were just overall kind people. Mm-hmm. Um. And now that fucking bitch. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> We're not doing that. Um, Because we don't know her, but my gut instinct off of the way she was talking on her live even, and she wasn't even saying anything wrong. It was straight up her energy. I was like, this is going to go awry. Like, her intention is not the greatest for this place, and I could sense mm-hmm. it right off the bat. Now, what I... Psychic Alex says uh, it's going to go under new ownership. This woman isn't going to be able to take the heat. I think that there's going to be so much controversy now. And I think the biggest people in the paranormal field right now speaking up saying that they will never go there now, no matter how much interest they have. I truly believe that that will cause so much controversy that then if you're getting people that are not in the paranormal field going, they can't even afford those prices then. She'll have to hike down her prices. And then she's... I I truly think her ego can't take that cut. Unfortunately. And I like I said, I'm not here to be mean or that... Psychic Alex... This is just my spidey senses tingling right now, okay? I don't think her ego can take that pay cut. And I don't think she could afford it. Because I think that whatever she's using that money for, I think she's tied into that now. So then if she has to take that cut, I don't think she can keep up with what she's doing now. She can't afford to pay staff. And she then cannot manage the house by herself. Because if Jen and Corey gave it up because it was too much for their whole family, and she can't afford to pay her staff anymore, she's not going to be able to do it. Right. Um, 
No, I get where you're coming from. This is just my gut feel. I, I could totally be wrong, and Shane's opinion is definitely possible and debatable. Um, which is what I'm debating. But like, it's Debate, definitely it's, it's so possible, though. It so is. Yeah. Like, I could totally be wrong, but I truly think that this is going to cause so much controversy and, and such a shift with the country. I just do not see her recovering from this and I feel I see her just digging it deeper and deeper I really do um I think this will go on for a while but I just see her resigning truthfully and giving up ownership yeah there's gonna be a video dropping on Friday by one of the people who resigned um and no, his started said his daughter Jason yeah, Hawes daughter said, yeah oh I'm not giving an answer was he no in? he wasn't oh, oh. But, yeah, there's a, since Alex just said it, Jason Hawes YouTube, there's going to be a video dropping Friday night that I'm excited to watch. Yes, me too. And, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. But, yeah, it's just an unfortunate thing to happen to such an amazing location. I think there's a lot of tea that's going to come out of that video, too, that we're probably not yeah. expecting. I think there's a lot worse going on than what we know, to be Maybe. honest. Um, but I, I sent oh, you a video. You did. I watched it, yeah. But yeah. I'm... You just feel bad for the people that were associated with it, and then they had they had to leave. And then they feel bad for the people that have their hearts wrapped up in that place. And like, I think we were one of them. Not not like um, not to their extent, but like it was our first yeah. big major out of state investigation. So it does hold a special place I'll, in our hearts. I'll never stop talking about yeah. it. Our experience. I'll never stop talking about how amazing Jen and Corey and Madison and their family did with that. And their dogs. And their dogs. Their dogs are awesome. Their dogs were super freaking cool. Super cute. Yeah. But yeah, we we wanted to hit on all of that real quick, um, because unfortunately we're joining. Um, the boycott, and uh, I mean, I we've been since day one. I was like, I won't go back there under that ownership, especially not because of the prices. But, um, yeah, um, Conjuring House, we love, we love you in the spirits, but hope to see you one day under a better ownership. That's for sure. Yeah. And um, I wish no no ill will on the current any, owner either, or anybody, or anyone. Yeah. Anyone. Wish you the best of luck. Truly. Yeah. Uh, are we? Is that it? Anything else? I'm so excited to freaking investigate. We guys, just real quick, then sesh. We haven't investigated because of life and because of my father's passing and everything. And we are investigating this Saturday, and I cannot freaking wait. <laughs> I can't wait to just get it going. It's usually like once we get going, we're going on yeah, investigations. I think so. We and, took a, a good break, I feel like. Yeah, and then but the heat got in the way, truly. Oh, the heat was awful this summer, so if I was still... Humidity sucks being... Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it being in the 90s and then it being humid, um, to get around 100 degrees, it's it becomes unsafe to be outside for long periods Yeah, especially of time. when you're the guy carrying all the equipment. I don't even want the... I know you said it'd be fun. I don't even want the equipment outside... For long periods of time in that heat. I don't want something... Well, it's going to be hotter in the car. Yeah, I just... Safer outside. I don't want something happening. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we're, we're still going at it. Uh, this is the first podcast we've done in, in a while, so sorry for that, but we took a break. We uh, needed it, I think. Life happens too, so... Yeah, every, and especially when you are involved in the paranormal, you need to take a break here and there. It just happens. Um, but mm-hmm. if you guys have recommendations for podcasts, if you guys... Um, you know, think that you may even have some cool story maybe you want to join. Or sure. I've had a couple people say that they were involved with filming and this and that, and I'm waiting for them to reach out to me to see if they want to talk about filming because I think they met some people that were on uh, TV. The, no, on the cast for the Conjuring people. Actually oh, and stuff. Okay. So um, I just, I got to find them. I just, I forgot. They followed me and they never reached out. So I got to figure out, I got to figure out some of that. But yeah, if, if anybody has some cool stories or anything like that, comment, let us know. Yeah. Oh, my voice cracked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for Especially. listening. Yeah. Thank you for listening to That Haunted Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate the support. We will see you guys soon. Next time. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.